If you if somebody you see people go to Africa and buy people, they call it slave trade. When somebody buys you as a slave, whatever he wants, sometimes they can even change your name. They can change your identity. So Jesus has bought us as a price. He did not buy us as slaves. We are free through the blood of Jesus, you and I. We are free to serve. We are free to walk in holiness and in righteousness. This is what the word of God is talking about. The blood that he shed on the cross. For the sake of the blood, you and I can boldly say we are children of God. We don't only have inheritance on this earth, but he says that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare the place for you, I will come back and that where I am, I'm waiting for you patiently. When they are waiting, you know what happens? Whatever you tell them to do, they do what? When you tell them to not to go somewhere, they will not do what? How come? He has told us aforehand. That means he has already told us what is ahead. That I go to prepare a place for you. The Bible says it's a place not built by hand. We will walk on the streets of gold. I don't know about you, I can't wait. I have to leave everything because I realize if I play, I go to hell. And I want to walk on the streets of gold. You see, on this planet Earth, when someone puts on gold, we see the person as rich. Abby? Yeah. The poor cannot afford gold. And these are just mere gold. But you see, the proper gold is in heaven. The gold has been refined. This is proper gold. The Bible is telling us that we will not put it on gold. We will walk on it. You know the pearl gates? You see the pearl you put on? The pearls will be gates. The pearl gates. Read your Bible, is there. One of the things, you know, when the Lord was going through the changes with me, sometimes the Spirit of God would tell me not to do something. I would do it, but I didn't understand it. One day I was bathing and the Spirit of God said to me, Esther, do you know that the gold that people kill for, if you don't know, go to Africa, go to wherever they, they, they every land that you want to buy, if there's gold, they have to do rituals. Do you know that? You don't know, only to go and do research. If you go to Ghana and you want to build, buy a land where there's gold, like Oboasi and all that, they have to do rituals to appease the gods. Because in the beginning, when you read Genesis, the Bible says that an Adam and Eve were created before the serpent tempted Eve. Let me say something more. I mean, the Spirit of God has diverted me a bit. You know, the, the plan of Christ Jesus was to live forever. Live forever without sin. Until, the, 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 until Eve ate the fruit, then we, we encountered death. That means prior to that, we were meant to live forever. Do you know that as you're sitting down, is your body who will die? Yes. Your soul never dies. Though. Somebody was telling me you're a liar. I said, you do dream. I asked him, do you dream? Sometimes you'll be here, you dream in Africa. Be. Sometimes your soul works about your spirit. So if you don't believe that there's eternity, look at how you dream. Sometimes God will show you something that will happen. If you are not careful, it will happen. Do you understand? So Jesus has bought us with a price. He has purchased us with a price. Now, he, he came down here because he knew aforehand, he's God, aforehand, that in this world to walk in righteousness is not easy. To live a holy life, anybody who told you it's easy, tell them, I said, they should show me how. It's not easy. As human, for you to live. I said yesterday, I said something. I said, Why is your mind in your business? You're praying, oh. Somebody is somebody is able to come into your mind. Sometimes somebody you don't really like. And then you begin to you begin to think, you see, why is your brain? Now you begin to bind your own mind. Has that happened to you before? Or all of you are spiritual. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus, He came to live here. He came as a form of man, just like you and I. So you can go through whatever you're going through. So you can go through the challenges of life. So that he can go through. You and I were born in hospital. Were you born in hospital? It was a nice bed, wasn't it? Some were born in Africa. Some people don't even know their date of birth. My mom told me that. Some people can't remember their date of birth. But they were born in Africa. Where we have hospitals... They are put, look at our kids. They are born here, nice bed. Jesus came, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the creator of the universe. 
I call him my ego. I mean, the, the God among gods. He's the highest. He left his glorious place to come on this earth. He came to experience what you and I would experience. He went to the lowest of the lowest to be born in a manger. The Bible says because of the census, every hotel, let me put it that way, was full. It was to, it was to, to, to testify, or it was to confirm the word of God. He, was, he had to be born in a manger. It was a place where the sheep or the goats poo. They pee and poo and eat at the same time. It was a smelly place. It was a place that you, you and I will never, we wouldn't even sit there for one minute. Some of us, today, we've come to abroad, you hold your nose. Where our master Jesus was born. He didn't have to do it. But he did it. Just to break, the, you know, just to break the boundaries between us and him. That blood that he shed on that day. Just to close the gap. The Bible says that because of this, we're able to call him our father. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Have you ever sat down to think what he did for you and I? It was a precious blood. Even if you love your husband, Mama, will you die for your husband? Mm. You, will you die for your husband and say, Honey, I love you so much. Mister, will you die for your wife? You say that, honey, we will meet on the other side. I love you, but we will meet. Do you understand this is our hearts. But this man came and did it for you and I. It was a shameful death. According to research, you see, some of the things you see that he was covered. He was literally naked. He was naked. He did it for you and I, so you close the gap. So because we were all meant for hell, but he had to close the gap so that we will have the choice to make heaven. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved according to the word of God. Beloved, you and I, by the grace of God, we found the grace. We are giving our life to Jesus. I want us to read on. I want you to go to First John. We're still there. Hallelujah. Are you being blessed? Yes. yes. Am I making sense, please? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go to First John. Let's jump and go to First John chapter uh, 3 verse 4 down I'm going to read from down and I want you to listen to this this program is about repentance holiness righteousness what we're doing all that I've been called to do is to alarm blow the sound the Bible says it's like it's a blow, blow the trumpet blow the trumpet so their blood will not be on your hand beloved every day as we go and we come a day is coming that you see, instead of us waking up, it will not be so. Are we ready? Are we ready to meet our God? Let's read the Bible. The Bible says, everyone who practices sin, this is amplified version, so it goes straight to the point. Everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. Lawlessness means disobedience. We are lawless. This generation is very lawless. We disobey God. We have no regard for the things of God. We have no regard for the spiritual things of God. The thing that the Lord wants us to do, we don't do it. So we disrespect His ordinances, His precepts, His principles, His rules. Praise the Lord. So He's saying that. He's saying that. Um, sin also, um, everyone who practices sin also practices lawlessness. And sin is lawless. Uh, sin is lawlessness. Ignoring that is ignorance God law. Well, that's what I've said. By action or neglect or by to tolerating wrongdoing. Being unrestrained by and by his commands and his will. We don't care what we do nowadays. Nowadays, as believers, we're not worthy people, are we? Are we all Christians? Yes. Are we all believers? Yes. Have we all been born again? Yes. Have we all been baptized? Yes. So we believe in Jesus. But these days and age, even when I'm sinning against my sister, when I'm sinning against my brother, I don't think twice. We have become lawless. We have become heartless. When you're going through challenge, all I need to know is to hear it. I will help you broadcast it. Do you know why most of us, our prayers are not answered? We talk too much. We talk about things that does not concern us. 
I said to people, I said, if you can't pray for that sister or that brother, don't get involved. If you're talking about someone, talk with the idea of helping the person. If you cannot help anybody, don't carry people's cases. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everything we do, we must ask ourselves. There's a song we sing. I wish I could play the keyboard myself, but we play. There's a song we sing. Asembi Aramekano Adibi Arame
Because it's the seal of God. It's the seal of the Spirit of God upon us. Now you see the rapture wall is like a magnet. It's like, have you ever seen magnet and paper? No. It is the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit hates sin. What the Spirit of God detests is sin. Sin is anything that God hates. Anything against the word of God. Anything against the word of God. Anything the Lord detests is sin. Anything. That is why we have to get deeper with God. And everything. I was wondering, why would you leave the Holy Spirit? Because it's not easy. He came and tried. Even the devil had to test him. By using the word of God. Now we have decided we will not learn the word of God. Devil, you can test us. We will fail anyway. So some of us, some, some people, you know, somebody sent me a message on Facebook and said, I want you to pray for me. The devil is attacking my marriage. I said, Mama, the devil is far from you. The problem is attitude. That's right. I want you to sit down and write the things that you do that your spouse hates. That's right. And begin to change. That's right. That's right. Everything we blame, we blame the devil. You see, the devil that we blame so much, that guy is not that powerful. Mm. He's an old roger. If you, my pastor, you know that I was studying the word and I realized from Genesis, the way he deceived the woman is the same trick. Has the Lord really told you not to do this? Are you sure this is a small sin? This is, this is sin. The man touched you. It's okay. You touch his shoulder. It's okay. It won't go anywhere. The Lord knows your heart. It's the heart. You see, gradually. And then you say, oh, no, no, no. If he touches, it's, it's, not, it's okay. You are managing. You'll be fine. Just hug. Okay, by the time you finish, that is the same trick. The money came to you wrongly in your account, so it's okay. You see, it's a blessing from God. Go, go and tell them. Spend it. They overpaid you. Sometimes they overpaid, they overpaid me recently. And then I said, I said, ah, these people are devils, you know. <laughs> and the moment, you know, first time what happened, the money was paid. The moment I slept, I had a dream that I had gone to a shop. Lots of clothes. I knew it can't be on this earth. It was a big shop, too big, and I was stealing. I said, that ah, I'm a thief. I was stealing, seriously stealing. <laughs> it's not funny. It was, <laughs> I had prayed. After I had prayed, not like I was doing anything. I had prayed, though, and I had told them. I had a dream. I saw lots of, like, like women. It's not like it's seen, but it's dressed long. You know, nice. I was picking and picking and picking. And then I saw that I turned out, I think, but it was left with one. And I knew it. And I was taking the thing. I woke up and I said, ah, I just called my, I called my uh, consultant and I said, I, I think you were paid me. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So the devil has no new trick. All the enemy is looking for is not your money. The devil don't spend money. The enemy is not looking for, for you not to die. If you die, it's a deliver, it's a problem for you. So if you are walking in righteousness, he doesn't want you to die. Mm -mm. He wants you to die in your sin. All the, all the enemy's target is for us to disobey God and for us to go to hell. Because whether your marriage is prospering or not, that, that the enemy care. Whether you are making money or not. Do, do we eat money in heaven? No. You understand? But he can frustrate you and I. Sometimes he brings doubt to you. And you see, because we don't have enough of Christ in us. When we read John, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word of God that we see and close our eyes. Sometimes when you start reading, you know if you want to sleep, if you're not prayerful, if you really want to sleep, you can't sleep, read your Bible, you sleep like a baby. <laughs> have you experienced that? Right. The day you decide today, I'm going to read the Bible, you sleep. You begin to, mm, mm, that, and you make you sleep like a baby. The devil is a liar. Because he knows that the day, you see, the day you find the truth, you will be set free. Some people know the word. We, we don't use it. Do you understand? When we come to Christ Jesus, when we come to church, whatever the Bible says, walk in holiness, walk in righteousness, it's not just words. In everything you do, in your marriage, you know, some people are born again, but their marriage is not born again. We don't have respect for our spouse. I was telling someone, I said, everything, the principles in this word of God, it's a manual for you and I. If we can only live according to the word of God, as Christians and pray and allow the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God does not like sin. So the moment you sin, He has given us our will. You see, as I'm speaking, 
Anybody who speaks the word of God to you and forces you to take it by force. Because God himself has given us our own will. You can choose to take it. It will work for you. You can choose not to take it. But the day is coming, you will give an account. You understand? So if you study the word of God and abide by the word of God, there's nothing that you do that will not prosper. Amen. You understand? The Bible says, tell the righteous that it shall be well with him. I sat down and I said, but why would the Lord say, tell the righteous? Why not the unrighteous? Tell the righteous. That means we go through challenges. You know, I don't know about you, when, when you, when you begin to study the word of God with all your heart, when you begin to say that this, this Christianity thing is not a joke, it's a spiritual thing. That means it's prayer. The Bible says the effectual seven prayer of the righteous availed much. When you rise in prayer, that is when the Spirit of God begins to give you strength through the Word of God and you begin to stand in holiness and in righteousness. Amen. We cannot do it by our own strength because what the Lord Jesus requires of us, the standards of heaven, I recently realized, yeah, it is the grace of God. The standards of heaven, don't even let any man tell you do this, do that. You have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit is able to come and tell you what you need to do. The Holy Spirit is able to come and reveal the things that are in your life that He wants you to get rid of. Because everything we're doing is preparation. Have you, have you seen that when you're going for an exam? You stand and prepare for the exam. There's an eternal judgment for every one of us. Every child here who knows good from bad. Every child. Every child here who knows good from bad will stand before God for judgment. So parents, if you are serving God, teach your So the Bible says, teach a child the way he should go. When he's old, he will not depart from it. We must infuse the word of God in our children. You know what the devil is doing now in our the children's schools? They begin to teach them things that will, you know, it's like sublime messages. Check according to the UK policies now. If you go and buy children's stuff, they don't they, they have universal stuff. That's right. I want you to do research. You see, Christians, we don't learn. We don't do research. We just flow. It's good to nowadays sit down, listen to the news, know what is happening, so you know how to stand. You must know that the days that we are in are evil. Emre woman and reborn. Emre woman. And Emre Gigia, bro. It's not days that you come to church and joke. It's not days that it's not just coming to church. Oh. Your whole life, when you wake up in the morning, you say, Lord, I want you to take absolute control over my life. Everything that I do that does not please you, it's not my own. Anything that I do that will not bring glory to you, that will not allow me to be prepared. So when you come, I will also be, be, be told, welcome, a good servant, well done. Anything, anything from friends to frenemies to your family, whoever. If you have somebody who every time they call, is to gossip. I mean, there are people who, anytime they call, say la. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Anytime they call, these are, you see, we have to be serious. What the enemy is doing that you will hate this one, I will hate this one, you will hate this one, you will hate this one. You see, when we gather and we are praying, because we are not together, prayer does not go anywhere. Can you imagine when I come and I'm standing in and praying for you? You are in trouble and I'm praying and fasting for you. My problem is that you will prosper. It is my high desire that I must fast for you to break through. Right. It is my high desire that when you prosper, I'm happy. When you are happy, it blesses our Father in heaven. Amen. Look at our lives. Because if the Lord is doing it for you, He will do it for me. Right. You understand? If the Lord is doing it for you, He will do it for me. If I can stand in the gap for you, your children, the Lord will also make a way for me. The enemy will not allow us to be one as Christians. We disobey God in every way. In the church of God, when you read 1 Timothy chapter 3, 2, read it. In the last day, the things that will happen, we will be, we will be selfish. So look at this. I mean, that this, this is a critical time in our lives that even the worldly people know that even the economy is changing. The demons are busy. I'm telling you. You are here. When was the last time you brought a soul to Christ? How many people have you kicked out of the church? How many people have you and I have we kicked out of the presence of God? We will give an account. We will give an account. You do 
know that this program we're doing, perhaps it's for just one person. This is how important our souls are to God. Our soul, you and I, our souls are very precious to God. Very, very precious to God. Whatever we are not doing, the demons are doing it. They are very consistent. Before you dream, before you see a demon sleeping with you. Now the moment you breathe, they are in your heart already. When we tell people, don't put on the weed, don't put on these things, it's not for somebody to judge you. But some of these things, they introduce demons. It's just a point of contact. So in order for us to, you know, build, stop all these things, anything that will not allow you to stand before God and be blameless, get rid of it. Amen. I used to be very attached to these things. If you saw me before, I did not know that God is able to strip. I sat down and I said, God, okay, it's not easy. It's in Chelsea, you saw that rich, rich area. And the man was 70, but was well built. You could see that he eats well. He was sick with kidney problems. So I, I don't know, it was his last day. I didn't even know he was going to die. And I was curious. So I was talking to him and he said, oh, I have a lot of, you know, businesses. No, man, they don't want to tell you. I have a lot of companies. I said, wow, have you got children? He said, I've never had children. I have a girlfriend. And then I began to see, we're not allowed to talk about Jesus to these people. Mm. And I said, I remember teaching a little bit. Just a little. That it's appointed once for one to die. Lying down, we had to do last office on him as a student. That was my first last office, so I can't forget that. We, we cleaned him nicely, put him in a shawl. Oh, human beings, we are sad. Though. A shawl that has no back. They put him in a bag, black bag. Like you see when you're traveling, how you close your suitcase. That's how they put us with. That's how. With all that we have, we think we know. They'll put you around, they put things in your nose so that you see the fluids, it will be absorbed. So I stood there and I was looking quietly. And I said, Hey, yesterday I was talking with this man, even this morning, he's home. Beloved of God, it is appointed once for man to die, and after death, judgment. Jesus wants us to be disobedient to be obedient to him. Jesus wants us to follow his precepts. The blood of Jesus must not be in vain. That is why when people decide they don't want to go to heaven, or when people die in their sin, when you get to hell, you know what to do there. Nobody, have you noticed that sometimes you dream and you know where you are? Yes. When we don't repent and walk in the holiness of God, the day we give up our ghost. The moment you get there, within a few seconds, I think you wonder about where I am. Where am I? Where am I? And then the demons will come and greet you. That's when you know, whatever you are doing, they'll come. They'll say hello, and then they'll tell you, you, every Sunday, you dealt with us. <laughs> you used to sing. You see what I'm doing here? I always wake up and I always wake up and I say, Lord Jesus, prepare me. Because you see what I'm doing? If I don't walk in the holiness of God to the end, and I get to hell <laughs> by my mistake. The timber that will hit me is not being prepared in Kerosene yet. And I know. <laughs> because of what I'm doing for God. That is why we might, it's, it's funny, but it's serious. The timber that will hit you see my mouth. They will, they will put things in, you see this big mouth that is talking about Jesus. They will put things in my mouth and give me the Bible to read. And they will be teasing me around. Torture. It's not easy. So Christianity is more spiritual. Every day I cannot stop emphasizing on it. It's not physical. Do you understand? This work is not physical. Whatever we come and do here, the prayer, the worship, everything is not physical, it's spiritual. That's why you have to open your heart, do it from here. Don't even impress anyone. Since the day the Lord told me, I come to church and I don't look old. Sometimes you ask me, did you see this lady wearing this? I can't remember. Because I need business, Papa. I will never be a signboard for anyone. I refuse to be a signboard for anyone. I must work on the boat. I, I told my mother, my boy is four. I said, Nana, we must work on the gold streets. Right. Because I've never done it before. Some people are born with silver, silver and gold spoons. You know that? Some people live in the comfort. Look at Prince William and all. They're, they're living. Their children, 
They, they've catered for everything even before they are born. The children are in the best schools. When they say cut, everything happens. Mm -hmm. We have to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. I don't know about you, maybe you're rich. I don't know. Maybe you're from a good home. So that when I, I sat down one day and I just I said, no, no, no. You see what I'm doing, I must do it with my heart. I must please God. He is the only one who is able to save me and eternally. Because everything I've ever hoped for is in Christ. Amen. All that I want is in Christ. The children who are believing God for, they are in Christ. Amen. The money you need is in Christ. You are looking for a house, it's in Christ. You are looking for a good husband, it's in your righteousness. Amen. Whatever you're looking for, all you have to do is walk in the holiness of God. And allow you to pray for your children and teach them the ways of God. I recently had a friend. The friend said, We were chatting, and he said to me, Esther, you have forced me to stop my 14 year old girl from putting on weave, um, Brazilian hair. I said to her, Allow the Spirit of God to be in the heart of your child. Don't entertain any spirit. Because nowadays, you see, before, the demons will wait till a child is old. Now they grab them at a younger age. If a child is poor and possessed, by the time he gets to 30, or you go, I'm telling you, this is what is happening. So most children nowadays, if Christ is not in them, are possessed. And what they do is they, they give their parents stress. Some children are just naughty. You, you don't know why. Because we don't infuse Christ in them. Infuse Christ in them. Let your child know that you're walking in holiness. You are living a righteous life. You are praying. It's not just praying, no. Some people can pray for hours. I say that. It's not just praying. Walk it. Walk with the word of God. Live it. Live it every day. Live it. Ask the Holy Spirit. You see, the Holy Spirit, all he wants, you have to create an atmosphere for him. The atmosphere is not what the pastors create on, in church, you know. Press, give me some strings, sir. Proper one. Give me strings. Let, them, let me show them atmosphere. I want to play a song. Can I play it? Listen to this. I'm creating an atmosphere. And you know that as atmosphere in this end times are created. But you have to create. I'm, I'm trying to you have to make a, a room for the Holy Spirit. Anybody here who doesn't understand change? Bro. Bro, sorry, my name. Make room for God.
was trying to do. Mm. I was just trying to make a point. The string is able to create an atmosphere. That is what we're doing. Our lives must create an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. There's somebody who sent me a message and said, I preach the word of God. I speak in tongues. But every day a demon comes and sleeps with me. So I asked her one question. I said, can a demon occupy in the same room with the Holy Spirit? No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's create an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. When I, when I go to preach somewhere, I never, all I do is study the word of God. When I sit there, then the Spirit of God will give me what to say. That is my ministry. People study it. People prepare. But I create an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. Because it's just one person who needs a word from God. That their lives will change for good. I'm not saying that their lives will change just for today. But just as like, just like the Holy Spirit transformed my life. I have been a Christian for years. I one day woke up and I realized I did not know God. I stood up and I said, I did not know how dirty I am. I'm so filthy. I said, Lord, I don't deserve your presence. I have been unfaithful to you. I've been a liar. I've been a thief. I've been ungrateful to you, Jesus. I want to start it again. I want to end this. It's not like nobody knew me. I was going to check programs. I was singing and doing all that. And one day the Spirit of God said to me, you must sanctify yourself. I said, oh, me, sanctify me. What did I do? I said, ah, I just returned from a church program. And it was powerful. The Spirit said, I'm telling you. He said, you must sanctify yourself. I said, how do I do that? Because, and then he began to show me. That's why I'm saying, create an atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. Wherever you go, create an go Find the thing that the Lord wants you to do. Obey the word of God. Take care of the poor and the needy. When you give alms to the left, don't let the right know what you're doing. Because you have received your reward already. When you're doing things for God, never allow any man of God to, to lie to you before you give to God. Never allow somebody to tell you, give this to God and you'll be turning to this. No. Give to God. You see, when you meet, meet your wife or your husband, did somebody tell you to, to, to go and marry them? You were in love. Yes. Sometimes people were in lust. <laughs> they marry and realize, gee, it's a wrong thing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we love Jesus. Do you love Jesus? That, that, that what will make you know that you don't love the man? Look at the way you treat your brother, your sister. At church, after we have preached the word of God, look at how we go safe. Look at how we are. We worship and then after worshiping, some people are able to lie down on the floor and cry. Grrr. The moment they step out, eh, what? Eh? <laughs> they laugh. And then you see, so the spirit of God cannot be in such a filthy heart. You see what I'm doing? If I'm not doing, I don't have a good heart. All I'm doing is nonsense before God. That's right. I'm not even going to mention anybody's name. It's me. I'm using myself as an example. Because I'm, the Spirit of God is reminding me also. I said, I refuse to be a sign of for anyone. Mm -hmm. And people who speak the word of God, where do the most miserable? If you don't do the work properly to the end. Sometimes I feel sorry for men of God who are able to take people's money in the name of God. To waste their hand and take it. And say, say yes, the Lord. The thing that we beat some of them, it has it has thing and so it has a hand turns all around it. You see, people don't fear God anymore. We don't have passion for the things of God anymore. If we, you and I, will go before God and tell the Holy Spirit, we want to start it all over again. We have been wrong. We've been unfaithful to you. We've been disobedient to your word. We have not stick to your covenants. We have not obeyed your word. Everything that we do outside of the will of God or the word of God is a sin. So the Spirit of God sometimes speaks to us. We can't hear the Spirit of God. Why do you think people, some people will die because of, it's not, even if it's not yet their time. Perhaps God is, is been talking to you. The Spirit of God will be warning you, don't go here, don't go here, don't do this. You, we, we, we can't really hear him. Physically, we also we have relationship with God. 
But when you sit down and you pray, you, you know, you, you yourself, you know. Now this Holy Spirit this lady is talking about, they always say they've heard, they heard me, I've never heard it before. Praise the Lord. We need to sit down, my dear. Look at how cold it is outside. It's very cold. We come here to listen to the word of God. Me, I'm not going to prophesy to you. You understand? People like prophecy. When you walk in the holiness of God, when I tell you my testimony, it will let you know that God is capable of anything. You see, when you begin to take the word of God, I always, I love the word, nothing here is a lie. When you take this word of God, and you begin to search it, and tell the Holy Spirit, I won't do it your way. I'm going to test you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to work with you diligently. I'll be faithful to you all the days of my life. I want you to show me your glory. Beloved, you will see the glory of God. Amen. You will see the hand of God. You see, wherever your, the, 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 your feet will step, you overtake. Wherever you go, the, the Spirit of God will just lead you. The things that you don't, you're not supposed to get, He will make a way and you get it. Amen. Nobody will prophesy to you, but the door will open. Amen. You see that marriage? Nobody will come and tell you, I see this, I see that. The Spirit of God, because you are His friend, He will bring you what you need, not what you want. Amen. Most people are into what they need, what they want. But the Spirit of God is able to give us what we need. Somebody who will be able to prepare you for eternity. It's very, very important. I was asking, I said, why don't people preach about the repentance and holiness? Because everything we're doing is temporal. You know that everything we're doing is so temporal. As I'm standing here, it's not guaranteed I'll be 70. When I'm done with what I'm doing, the Lord can decide to take me out. He does not care whether I'm 40, 50, whatever. So far as I'm done with my job here, pack up. Because the Bible says, even if the days are not cut short, the very elect will not be able to stand. This is how the world has come to. Beloved of God, we must all sit down and analyze ourselves and make amendments. It's a quick amendment. Because whatever you need, yeah, the reason why sometimes I'll be, I'll be doing worship on our study pastor, Facebook, and I'll be hearing things about people. I don't have to say it. Because I teach people to walk in holiness. The Holy Spirit who is speaking, can you imagine we have the same father, don't we? How come my father, our, our father, will have to come and talk to me to tell you? There is a secret concerning your life. There is death ahead of you that needs to, to be broken. There is a catch that needs to be broken. Why should our father come to me? Am I better than you? No. That is the difference. So grasp it. It's obedience. The difference is obedience. Obey God. And don't talk with it. Obey. The time that we are in, you see, a day is coming that the pure, wrong, this is wrong word. I'm not even wrong word of God. A day is coming that it will be so difficult to hear the wrong word of God. So this is the time that you take the word of God. Read it. When you're calling a brother, you're calling a sister or a brother because I have read this. I did not understand it. What do you think? Let's discuss. The, the Bible is saying this. Today I woke up when the spirit of God was taking me here. You see, the church will grow. We will pro you will prosper without your pastor laying a hand on you. Amen. You will begin to pray and prophesy to your pastor. Right. And tell your pastor that, Pastor, I see the church going here. I see God lifting us here. I see this happening. I see because if you read Revelation, it says, we are what? Heavenly priesthood. Right. You and I. I'm not a pastor. I'm not ordained. I don't intend to be ordained. Because all these things are things of the world. When the Spirit of God comes upon a man, he is able to give us insight. You understand? So we all have to be serious. If you don't know how to pray, learn to pray. If you don't know how to fast. I told someone to fast for three days. See, she called me and said, I started the fast, but it looks like since I came to abroad, I eat the food is everywhere. I said, you don't know. <laughs> yes. I said, if something is chasing you, nobody will tell you to leave your food. And go on your knees and pray. Because you see, the fervent prayer, effectual fervent prayer of the righteous, your prayer will avail much. Whatever you're not supposed to get, your righteousness, if you add prayer to it and you add a bit of fast, you add a bit of the word of God, you will overtake nations. Hallelujah. This is what Christ wants us to know. 
He's preparing us for His coming. He's not prepared. Do you think God called us to be rich? If God called us to be rich, Donald Trump and all these, they shouldn't worship God. They are rich. They be Beckhams. They are very rich. God did not call us to be rich. God has, God has called us into repentance. God has called us into holiness. God has called us to walk in His ways. So He can glorify Himself in us. So we, you and I will be able to our very life. Sometimes you don't even need to preach to someone. Somebody can see you. Your demeanor, your character, your attitude. You know that all these years that I've been serving God. Nobody asks me that you've changed at work before. And to have changed everything. So one of my friends, he's not there than he came to me and said, ah, you have changed. I said, no. I said, you can't see. You have changed. She said, you the way you talk. Hey, the way you talk, the way you behave. I said, ah, even the way you dress. She said to me, have you changed your church? I was so ashamed. You know I was so ashamed. So I went to her and I sat in my car and I said, hey, so all these years nobody realized that I changed you. You understand? That means I was just playing church. And then she said to me, she said, I want to come to your church. She said, I want to come to your church. It was an opportunity you I quickly started speaking to about her, about rapture, heaven, hell, repentance, holiness. And she said, wow. So our lives must be, you know, something that somebody will read. It will be a mirror that will reflect Christ. Our very lives, the way we treat our children, as I said, the way we treat our, our spouse, our husbands, our wives, the way we treat our, our parents, the way we treat our parents, some of us are born again. We have no respect for our parents. We don't respect our parents. We talk anyhow. You see disobedience in every way. The enemy is battling us all over. But beloved, whatever we're doing, we must sit down and ask ourselves, if the trumpet should sound. If the trumpet, can you imagine the trumpet sounding and someone in the midst of armed robbery? <laughs> If the trumpet should sound, and the Okada driver is righteous. Can you imagine if you're going to Africa on a plane and the pilot is righteous? Have you asked yourself before? You see, I don't know whether he, I don't know much about trains. I was asking, I said, can you imagine you're in the underground? The driver is a righteous man. That day, you see people's hand cut and they won't die. They will be bleeding and they will come out. Death will literally run for a second. I mean, what is coming on humanity is not a joke. It's not just playing church. It's not just whatever you're doing for God, do it with all your heart. Don't, and don't let anybody beg you to come and clean the church. I said, don't let anybody beg you to give. One of the things God has done for me, when you see a poor person outside, if you have one pound, give them some. Don't even think whether they're going to use it for cigarettes or they're going to use it for other. When they ask and you have, feed the poor and the needy. Because every good thing you're doing, your reward is in heaven. I'm telling you, when you're doing something in the presence of God, out of the presence of God, do it with your whole heart. Whether people see you or not, whether somebody say thank you or not, whether somebody appreciates you or not, do it with all your heart. Because a day is coming that you'll be rewarded. God wants us to run away from disobedience, from sin. Anything that causes us to sin. Anything that will not allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us. Anything that will not allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in us. Anything that will not allow the, the Holy Spirit to have a room. Because what we, we, we've, we've, we've made the Holy Spirit unemployed for a long time. Because what was he here for? He's here because Jesus left him here for him to be a teacher. When was the last time the Holy Spirit taught you something? You, you will not study the word. You, you will not pray. All you do is come to church, believing that the pastor will preach and then you keep some. And nowadays, thank God for Facebook. Over there, if you're not careful, you collect junk. You see, everybody comes with their belief system, their doctrine. And if you don't have the spirit of God in you, you follow someone that you might think is from God. That is why you need to know God. You need to allow the, the Holy Spirit is able to come to you and speak to you. 
Sometimes I'll be going to work. And the Spirit of God will tell me today, don't go to work. In my mind, I will say I will go. It was about a year and a half ago. I was lying down. And then I heard, don't go to work. And I said, I'll go. I need the money. <laughs> I'm telling you because I was calculating bills here. And I said, ah, today, wait. And then, you know, I was looking for my phone to check the time. My phone was in the car. So I, I, it was late. I quickly ran downstairs. I took my phone. I came back up. The battery was gone. You see how the Spirit of God does it? So I just said, let me lie down small because I'm going to charge it. I, I was charging the phone. I had slept. I was supposed to start work at 8. I woke up at 8.15. So no work. It takes me an hour to drive to work. You know what happened? I was standing in the morning when I woke up. I was playing with my little boy. And my mom had come to visit us. She was in the living room. I was playing with her. So she, I played with him a bit and then he went to the living room to his grandma. And then he came back to the room. The next thing I saw was my boy was going. And he fell. That moment, if I wasn't there, he would have gone. All I know is his eyes were just rolling and he fell. Because when I checked, he had high temperature. So I quickly called out. You see, sometimes you're confused. I, I didn't know what, what to press. I was asking, Jesus, Jesus. My mom came, we, we, we stripped him naked. We put him on the floor. And then I said, God, you are good. Maybe if I wasn't at home. We need the Holy Spirit as, as anything, more than ever before. Because there are things that the Spirit of God will bring away. Let me give you recently. Be prayerful, Lord. Have a, a personal relationship with God because there's nothing that He will hide from those that fear Him. As right. Psalm 25 14, it says, He reveals the deep and secret things to those that fear Him. Right. Deep and secret. Recently, I had a dream. It was like a vision because I finished seeing it. And I woke up. My boy had frozen as if someone had been put in the freezer. But I could see his shoulder swelling. And it was, it was as if someone was dead. So I, I, in the, it was like a vision I was looking at. I said, no, 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 I was screaming. And then I woke up. I said, no. When I woke up, I checked. He was fine. I said, I rebuke. I began to pray. On that day, I just said, that, let me go and buy something in African shop. I went to the shop. I bought everything with him. And I remembered when we went into the car that I forgot bread. Food. Human beings are food. Hmm. So I quickly, you see, I just said, let me rush back. All I could see was my boy coming, coming. If it was not God, things happen that the Spirit of God cannot hide from you because you are His beloved. Most of us, we call ourselves Christians, we don't have relationship with Him. Please, tonight, if you go home or if you're here, sit down and ask yourself this Do I have a personal relationship with Christ? I profess to know Jesus. I sing about him, I pray with his name, I preach about him, but do I know him? If I know him, does he know me? Beloved of God, a day is coming, a day is coming, a day is coming that we all stand in the queue. You see, as my mouth is going cha 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 that day, you see that I'm hot. You see me, you mention my name, I won't be here. You see, Pastor. That place, the one belong to go and Allah was sitting. You are going to give an account. They say that day they will show you video of yourself, and you say, "Can you please press forward?" <laughs> <laughs> Serious. They will show you your own life. Oh, instead of saying reverse or just, I want to rewind. You say press forward. Is there a forward button? <laughs> you understand? So whatever we're doing. My mom, papa, my sister, my brother. You see, I've come all the way from London. I did not come to prophesy because we are preparing ourselves for the coming of God. And we must let you know that if you repent today, whatever sin you are doing, every secret sin, if you're here and you have a problem with gossip, if you have a problem with anger, arrogance, pride, jealousy, you understand? Every everything that has not pleased God. I want you to just say, Lord Jesus. Help me and get me out of this bondage. These are the things that are taking us to hell. These are the little, little things we don't respect. The little, little things, little, little things that somebody came and saw your name. 
You see, in Proverbs 6, 7, it says, Proud look. You know, somebody can do some. Some people can look at you up and down, up and down, and then they go, Proud look. Yeah. Sometimes we don't think it's anything, but it's serious. Your eye alone, the way we look at things. Have you seen that before? Somebody, they do get, 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 and then. <laughs> yes. It's serious. You understand? Sometimes they will have their hand as well. Hey. And then you see people gossip. You, 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 get so, you should have been dead. Look at my eye. You see how we, we spread news around? If we pray like that. Can you imagine? How we're able to spread? We are seeing some of us are seeing and Without pay. CNN without pay. <laughs> CNN without pay. Can you imagine if someone calls you and tells you about somebody called me and told me about someone? I said, hold on. I said, we need to do a conference with that person. She quickly said, please. Please, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean that it was this. I said, which way? You see? And then she said, oh, I'm so sorry. I know what I did was wrong. I said, I'm glad you know, because I would have got conference calls. So what you're saying about her, that she said about me, you say it so we all listen. Just so we bring it to her. But she said, please. I said, you see, it's a sin. If we can all do this, because we must love one another. Can you imagine, I, I was telling pastor today, if the Lord Jesus should give us the road to heaven, let's say from here to, to the, 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 the London road, that you pass and turn left, there's heaven. You would have seen a queue. Hmm. People will go and always tell God, God, you said what? You see what this person has done. So he did not give us, show us the road. The road is to heaven, to heaven is Christ. Right. Simple. Because the day he shows us the road, that this is the road to heaven, there will be queue. Some people will even go, go, go and ask their security men to wait in the queue because they are sleeping. Oh. Humanity. It's serious. If the Lord, we, if we should all make heaven, listen. The Lord Jesus will say, okay, you, so you people had problems. Come and sit here. We're going to talk about it. It will take about 10 years before we all go in. So with all this character, it cannot enter there. The narrow way. So all these excess baggage, we, we must let go of them. You see, if we don't tell you this and we come and always joke and always tell you the Lord is saying this, I see this, and someone is, you see, if you're walking in holiness, who is the witch? I went somewhere where a pastor said, I see your father having stroke. I said, no problem. Because if you see, you do something about it. You understand? If we walk in holiness, nobody will come and tell you, the Lord will show you yourself. You. Whatever will happen, sometimes I will see something happen like that. It has happened to me twice. At work, and it happens just like, just like that. So I stand there in my head, I'm saying, hey God, you are great too. See, you do. To walk in holiness eh? and righteousness is powerful. That is why they will not, you see, thank God for this man's life. I haven't seen him for a long time, but it's difficult to see a pastor who will teach you about holiness and righteousness. Most of the pastors will not teach you. No. Do what you like. Dress anyhow, speak anyhow, do what you like. They'll prophesy and prophesy the day you die. You realize that that man was even an agent. Preparing, they're preparing a lot of people to hell. So when you meet a man of God, who will tell you to repent and walk in holiness. Repent and walk in righteousness. It saves your own soul. Prepare your own soul for heaven. That's coming a rapture. I said when the rapture does not come today or tomorrow, we will die. We will sleep. A time is coming, you call me, Sister Esther, and you hear that she's gone. She wasn't sick, though. she was fine. She came from work, she just ate. She said, I'm going to lie down and finish. That is a reward for the righteous. You know, why do we cry? Why do people die and we cry? Food. Some people cry because of bills. Some people cry because the person is a breadwinner. You see, humanity, look at our hearts. If a Christian should die in the Lord, look at Billy Graham. We don't even know where he's going. You see, me, I say one thing. That it will be heaven, when we get there, we will have a shock of our lives. The fact that somebody, what I'm doing, saving souls for God, does not mean I've arrived in heaven already. That is what the Bible says, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. 
You see the madman who is walking by the roadside, the day is coming, they will change. They will give their life to Christ, and then you and I, the Muslim that we are laughing and insulting, will be transformed by the Holy Ghost. The person who is in Hindu, they will change. The Spirit of God will touch them and they will repent. So, these are the people, when we are blessed and graced and we get to heaven, these are the people we meet. And you wonder what happened to the people who really did the work of God. Because many people will be like cyborgs. That is why whatever you are doing for God, do it with all, when you are coming to church, do it with all your hearts. Every day let heaven be heaven conscious. What has helped me so much is I'm heaven, be heaven conscious. Let it be on your mind. When you are talking about somebody, ask yourself, will it please God? Will he allow me to enter into heaven? When Jesus Christ will come now, can I go? Will I be able to go with the saints? The Holy Spirit, because he speaks. The Spirit of God is so real, it's amazing. This morning I had a dream, Pastor. And I was praying, I was praying and destroying it. Because I saw 5,000, I saw 5K. Dot, 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 death. And then I, so I woke up early in the morning and I said I will keep it. I was cancelling the spirit of death. You see, I'm not a prophetess. I'm not a pastor. But when you walk in the holiness of God, everything that the Lord will want you to destroy it, He will give you the power, He will show it to you, and whatever you say will happen. That is why the enemy will not allow you at night to walk in holiness. The enemy hates it when you walk in righteousness. The enemy does not like it when we walk in love. Because when we walk in love and we pray, it's like a dynamite. Something happens when believers rise in prayer. It's not just singing and singing. But when we are one, in the, you see, when you read the book of Acts, they said they used to gather together with one accord. The Bible says that a Peter preached and 3,000 souls were saved. How many souls do we get? I do one soul a night. Just one. Soul. One. He preached just one night and 3,000 souls were saved. What a mighty revival. The Lord is relying on you and I in this end time to save some. We've come to church too long. We stayed in the house of God too long. We have been familiar with the things of the Spirit too long. So it is directing us to hell. The fact that you know everything about God does not know you, does not mean you know Him. We have become so familiar. You wake up and you did not pray, you say, God knows. Your prayer is God knows. When I was coming, I sat in my car. And I said, Lord, take the wheel. I said, Jesus, take the wheel. I was on a 70 MPH. Is it 70? Yeah. All I could hear was a big pow. My car burst when I was coming. I'm a woman who was snowing. I was, I was still driving. Go ahead. But I said, let me know. Because I was listening to gospel, you know. So I was soaking the word of God. And then I said, no, no, let me stop this thing. Listen, I could hear. I said, I said, I said, I said, Lord Jesus, let us do something, Baba. Because this is not nice. It's going. <laughs> so I, because it was a fa it was going very fast. I was going very fast. And it was on my left, the, the, my right, the, the last one. And it was snowing. So I did not stop. Something told me, don't stop the speed. Keep going. So I kept going. Me, I don't, I don't know anything about guys and all this. I kept going, going, and then I began to slow down. And I realized, hey, I drove for 30 minutes because I was driving slowly just to go ahead. I didn't know where to park me, a high road. Hmm. So I, and then I packed. Thank God for 80. Do you understand? When we begin to walk in the holiness of God, the enemies will plan, that, but the Lord will protect us. Amen. You are God's masterpiece. The whole world, if you want to look at yourself, look at, look for, look for, your, your DNA is just you. You are unique. Look at your face. I said to people, I said, look at my nose. Nobody have it. I told my son, Nana, you are trying to get my nose. Be careful. <laughs> this is mommy's nose. You understand? You are unique. You are not a mistake. Every, you see, David said, my whole life is written in a book. Your whole life is written in a book. Your whole life. You and I, our whole lives are written in a book. I always say this, and I'm going to finish soon, that if we, everybody has a tag on them, expiry dates, if you see milk, respect milk. Because at least you will see the expiry date. You and I, we have expiry date, but we don't know. We cannot see. 
We have expired dates. Today you are healthy. Your mouth is yab, yab, yab. We have expired dates. You see my, my skinny legs? We have expired dates. When death comes, when the death comes, whether you have to, you have a message for someone, that will say, I'm, too, I'm sorry. The angel of death. That is the irony of life. When the death comes, you don't know, it just happens. So whatever we're doing, we must take eternity. 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 What am I doing for God? Am I pleasing Him? Am I doing it for men or am I doing it for God? It's my prayer that this program, through this program, many will come to realization that without holiness, no one can see God. Whatever we're doing, without walking in the holiness of God, today you are praying. You see, most of our prayers are not even answered anyway. Because when you go to Ephesians 6, it will teach you the criteria to pray for the prayer to be answered. We don't have those criteria. The breastplate of plate of righteousness, the belt of truth, do you have it? The sword of the spirit, the feet of peace, you, wherever you go to this wall. Wherever we go, some of us, wherever we go to this wall, chaos. But the Bible talks about the feet of peace, the sandals of peace. The Bible says we must put all these things on. The, 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 do you understand? The armor of God. Put it on. All of them. That means if you leave one out, what's your prayer? My dear sister, brother, you see we are we sitting there, but we're tired. We're sleeping. If it's you came here and they said it's five pounds per hour, you would have come and asked for overtime. <laughs> True. May God help us. Because these are realities of life. These are realities of life. I pray that our lives wasted or spent in God is never wasted. I pray that our time spent in the presence of God is never wasted. Say that you get your life to Jesus till now. If you're not doing things right, sit down and ask yourself. It's not about friends. I said on that day, your own parents will give up on you. Your own pastor will come and pray. That day, he will pray. Nowadays, that has become the norm. People cry for two minutes and they are thinking, what does he leave? If, you, if it's people like me, we, don't, we didn't leave anything, then people will not be able to say, what about Why was your, your peers were building houses and buying cars? You, you just came and died like that. Don't you? They God help us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We must all, you see, our children, most people, I said to people, the best thing you can do for your child, give them eternal assurance. Infuse the word of God in them. When they are praying, lay, when they are sleeping, lay your hands on them. Because whatever you are building, they will grow with it. Somebody will not rise one day and say, I'm gay. It's never true. No child will rise up one day and just say, I'm gay. There are things our parents, some parents did not just teach their children. Parents did not spend quality time with their children. We never led them to Christ. We never taught them the importance of eternity. We never taught them the importance that what will you see what sin does to us. It cuts our life short. Many people have seen their untimely death because of sin. So when Jesus has brought us in his presence, it's my prayer that we would obey him. We will walk in the righteousness of God. Obey the precepts of God. Do the things of God so heavens will see you one day and rejoice. Your life will never be the same from tonight. You will walk in the holiness of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray the Spirit of God transforms your life in the name of Jesus. I pray the Word of God becomes life. The Bible says it cuts a cross. It cuts into bone and it cuts into marrow. The Word of God will become life in your spirit. Amen. May we take the Word of God seriously. Because the times we are in that evil, all we have is not the buildings. Jesus is all we have. Amen. In case of anything, we don't have anything. But if you have Jesus, you have everything. May the Lord bless his word. I want you to rise in the name of Jesus.
begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. Just bless His holy name. Just bless Him. 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 I see that I'm a cantor of a sinner. Lay my body on the altar of the Lord and I'm a cantor. Yes, just thank you, just thank you. My dear, I'm a sinner of a cobra, I'm a cantor of a sinner. My boy, I'm dear, I'm a cantor of a sinner. My boy, I'm a sinner of a cobra, I'm a cantor of a sinner. My dear, I'm a sinner of a cobra, I'm a cantor of a sinner. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. And I am a sinner, a cantor, a lord, a lord, a lord. And I am a sinner, a cantor, a lord, a lord, a lord. Hey, ba ba ba, I am a lord, a lord, a sinner, a cantor, a lord, a lord. Hey, ba ba ba, I am a sinner, a cantor, a lord, a lord, a lord. And I am a lord, a lord, a cantor. You are the Bossa, you are the Bossa, you are the Bossa, you are the Bossa, you are the Bossa. Hey, ba 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 ba, si a toro mo se na na ba. You are the Bossa, e na na ba ba na ba kana. E ba na na ba na ba kana na ba. You are the Bossa, you are the Bossa, you are the Bossa. E na na ba ba si a toro mo lori na na ba kana. We are praying. There are some things we need revelation. I keep saying this in this church. I know the conviction I see she has because of where God has brought her spirit. Peter knew what he had because of what God showed him on the mount. And they said their testimony to you and I. And now we to believe in Jesus. Are they doing something that is evil? Is it polluting my Christianity? If not, then Lord, I want to understand. Amen. But the devil will never let you say, I want to understand. He will give you a mouth to argue. A reason to complain. But I want you to pray with a prayer of conviction that we prayed yesterday. Paul said that the Lord our God, the Father of all glory, may give you wisdom and revelation that the heart of your understanding, the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, that you may know him. That you may know him. He was speaking to Christians. Not fake people, not people who are not born again. But knowing Jesus and knowing about Jesus is two different platforms. We are going to pray. That the Lord, your Father, my Father, will give you an enlightenment. Even for the sake of doubt. Not know, say, Lord, please take doubt from my mind. Don't let me just follow with the masses. Because you have not met the demon that rules Manchester. I do. And I speak with conviction. You have not fought the spirit of homosexuality before. You don't know. When we talk about holiness, Mama says it's not the cloth, but it is from inner. What does your spirit know? Do you know about Jesus do, or do you know Jesus? That is the problem we have. The church knows about Jesus. The church does not know Jesus. And it is the gospel truth you need to understand. All you can brag about, all I can brag about is that we know about him. Because we read the Bible. Have you met him? There's a demonic darkness Hovering over the world, demonic presence, which has been released because the Bible says the end is deception will rule. And when somebody speaks, as I gave the scripture, some people worshipped, but some doubted. Amen. You are worshiping or you are doubting? Close your eyes. 
Meditate on a few words. All that came today, have you accepted anything at all in your heart? Do you want to know more? Do you want to understand more? Do you want to see more? It is a desire. We are not organizing this program for a show, but for somebody to come to realization, no, if I have to fast about anything at all, I need to fast about seeing the glory of God. If I want to see anything at all, come through, break through. I want to break through heavens and dwell in the heavenly place. I want to stand on that gold and see that these are the holy angels that are talking to me. I want to break up and go beyond just asking forgiveness. But totally no, this is a sin. I'm not committing it. We are breaking some demonic spirits. Many Christians are possessed, but we don't know. And if we are not possessed, we are influenced because we are giving our mind to it. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Today, with thy word, let my heart be renewed as I pray your glory.
and it does not affect your spirit. It does not bother you. You give yourself excuses. There's something wrong with your spirit. There's something wrong with your understanding. When God the Lord rebuke you, do you go back and make restitution? Do you go back and make amends? Do you change your ways? Or you just sit and say, yeah, well, it's not my fault. Uh, what kind of spirit do you have? Are you a humble person? Are you a humble person? Are you a humble person? Pray. Commit, commit, commit to the service of your body. Commit your body to the service of the Lord. Commit your body to the service of the Lord. Commit your spirit, your soul to the body of Christ. Commit right now. Commit right now. Commit right now. Commit to do more. Commit to do better. 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 Let the Lord have you. Let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord have his way. In the name of Russia. I give myself away. Father, I don't turn him back. Help me to move forward. Help me to stand firm. Help me to move forward. Man, I don't have a cat. I don't have a lawyer. I don't have a cat. I don't have a cat. I don't have a cat. I don't have a lawyer. I don't have a cat. Libre Catala Mamasia Dorobosi, Epaya Mamanderia Masinterewe, Libro Cotoro Mabosi Tarababa, Lemanda Ravanderia Taya Dosa, Jebrete, Zebende, Rebeke Tayame, Sian Terebosi, Taraba Boria Naya, Holy Spirit, Shandaria De, Manda Rababador, Yana Ramabo, Sanda Rababesa. Ora mama dara mama dia ko prente re prendo se prendo re prende e mama paya mama be andara mama deria mama sia andara wa ora mama dara mama dara basia mandara mama dara mama dara mama dara mama de ora mama dara mama dara basino andara mama dara mama dara mama basuko torobe lo proso to prende re mama deri masia de Oh, Rabba Baba Yanda Rabba Bakande. Oh, Taraba Baba Baba Bakanda Rabba Sia. Oh, Rabba Baba Yama Be Re Mama Daya. Anda Rabba Kana Rabba Mama Sia Naraba. Ena Rabba Naba Naraba Naba. Ko Rabba Mana Rabba Kande Ria Masindoro Be. Lo Pro Do Ri Ma. Many people like to have the wages of unrighteousness. That is bound under the wages of unrighteousness. We are separating ourselves from that. In the mighty name of Jesus, any powers of unrighteousness that want to bind us, that we may get wages of this world and forsake the right way, may the Lord rebuke it from our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray right now. Open your mouth and pray. Mando robo siki tarama balari andaraba kandaraba lori andaraba kande. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. La tarama baka tarama maderia. Every wages of unrighteousness. Every wages of unrighteousness. Every wages of unrighteousness. Every wages of unrighteousness that we are going after. 
May the Lord turn us aside. May the Lord turn us aside. May the Lord turn you aside. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray that the Spirit of Christ will deliver you from every way of unrighteousness. righteousness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. 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 This last days, this last days, any spirit that is enticing innocent souls into unrighteousness, into unholiness, may the Lord arise. May our enemies be scattered. May the Lord break us loose from every bondages, from every bondages, from every bondages, from every bondages. In the name of Lord Jesus, open your mouth and pray. 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 La dara mama sikia. Le brete li bakataya. Men of us go to church. Men of us pray. Many of us we like the things of Christ. But have you been taught how to seek the Lord? Have you been taught how to wait upon the Lord? Have you desire to hear his voice, to see his glory, to know him for yourself? Have you desired? We fast for jobs. We fast for our children. We fast for conception. We fast for documents. We fast, we fast for travel mercies. But we don't fast to see the glory of God. We don't fast to cleanse us from filthiness. We don't fast to understand spiritual truth. We don't fast to understand scripture. That thing that will bring it to eternity. We don't take scripture and say, Lord, I have read the scripture. I don't understand. But I know you are a God that can teach me all things. I am praying. I am laying down my life today. I am laying down my stock, my, my food aside. Until you explain this spiritual food to me. Until you explain this spiritual truth to me. I will not let you go until you bless me with wisdom. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. We go to churches, we bind demons. Which demon are you binding? That demon is in your flesh. The demon of laziness to know the truth. The demon of laziness to know the truth. The demon that blindfold us from, our, from righteousness. Our pastors, our leaders will cause us to fast and pray that we may have breakthrough. Breakthrough in what? Breakthrough in what? Breaking through what? Curses? What is a curse? Who can curse you? Who can curse you? If you are a child of God, what type of a curse can rule over you? When your Lord has blessed you, have you not read that when Balaam wanted to curse Israelites, that God said, these people, they are mine. You dare not curse them. Bless them instead. That, that God still exists. Yes, I know him. He still exists. You can go and sit in a shrine. Call Pastor is also on that. When you call my name, tender will strike you over there because I belong to the master. You can't curse me. You try and see. I give you the permission. You go and try and see. Can you have the boldness to let the demon try? Can you have the boldness to let a demon try to curse you? Because we are weak. Because we are not looking for the things of above. Pray that you shall desire to know more. Pray. Pray. What is your prayer point? What are your prayer points? You have listed them down. This year, I want to do this. I want to be able to furnish my documents. I want to be able to give birth. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to go for the company. I want to be able to do this. But I do make a list that this year, I would like to walk on the gold. I would like to be able to fly on eagle wings. I want this year, I want to be able to stand firm and say, I used to be weak. I did not know how to pray. But now when I pray, demons flee. What is your list? What is your list? What is your list? What type of list do you have? The Bible says, if you are of God, if you are risen with Christ, then think on the things about. Think on the things about. Think on the things about. 
all that the churches are telling us that you have too much trouble, you have too much problems, your witches are doing you, your mother is doing you. Last time I saw Facebook that the boys are beating their mother because some yeah, your pastor say she's a witch. May God bring his wrath upon people like that. May God arrest them. I pray in the name of Jesus. Any demonic spirit using ministers to disgrace the gospel, may the Lord arise. May his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lata kose terebra sataya. La breka tarabawasia. E mandara bawasia. E mabo shiki taraba. There are very few people who want to see you do the will of the Father. There are very few spirits. I want to see you do the will of the Father. It has been an ancient curse of mankind that we will always break the law of God. So don't think that you know. Don't think that you are blessed of scripture. Don't think that you are so under so much anointed man of God who see visions, who see this thing. What are his visions? You monitor the visions he gives to you. The men and women of God that preach to you. What type of visions do they give? You go and analyze them. All the prophets that I come, which one is pertaining to heaven? Which one is pertaining to righteousness? Which one is pertaining to holiness living? It's all about how you, 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 me, 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 me. Pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. I've had to say this. Well, people were coming that we call them prophets. Amen. And the hall was full. Even though we were down there, it was bigger than here. Amen. But put, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And then the demons will arise and make sure that. Nah, now I got here, Jai. Amen. You have always said that one before. But let me show you something. When you stand directly under a human spirit. There's an impartation your prayer cannot give to you. Hallelujah. People don't understand spiritual truth. Why didn't Jesus stay upstairs and command the world to be saved? Presence of people impact something different. Hallelujah. But I have unfortunately had people around me that would take a man of God on TV to compare me tell them that they are doing that and are doing this and I'm doing the wrong thing I say you may God give you a blessing because that person you've never met me what I went to my mom's house to her house to be under her spirit so that I may know if that spirit is the same as mine amen Amen. You must know the type of person you are dealing with. There are spirits on the internet. Yes. They are portraying like the light, but they are full of darkness. You will never know until you come in contact with them. The Lord has shown me how it works. Amen. When you don't, you have no mess of people, He will not show you some truths about them. That is why it is you have to be careful who you lay your hands on. Or who lays his hands on you? Hallelujah. Because before I lay my hands nowadays, I pray in my spirit to rather impart, not to get <laughs> affected by you. A time came, I did not want to lay my hands at all in the church. Because the type of spirit that were coming to church, they were not willing to change. So they were corrupting my mind. Hallelujah. It frustrates you to know what kind of spirit is living in some people. We are praying. You are responsible for your eternity. No husband can save you. No wife can save you. No degree can save you. So all you need is to know the master. Know him really. Because he's real. We are going to pray. There are some demonic powers on the moon. Do you know the moon? There are
spirits that rule over the moon. And as this moon strikes down, as the sun strikes down, a sun force their vibrations, their forces, it comes directly to your mind. This mindset, this mind of us, it is like an open field. That is where all the warfare is waged. This mindset. And that is why the spirit of disobedience comes from me. It is very much on people's mind. When people are disobedient, they are like my people. When you say this, they say no. When you say that they don't agree, they, they always do something different against you. That's why people can curse people by the moon, they go mad. Have you ever heard that before? And then as Ram Bobia. Moon. There are powers in them. And when the Lord was telling me to cause this church to put on high scarf, he put fire on the moon to melt that spread down before they left the church. Amen. They are stubborn spirits and they are mockery. At Chichi. Christians, they will look at you and then they will just laugh at you. When you are telling something, they say, oh, you mad people, you are going backwards. You are going backwards. I would rather go backwards and go to heaven than go forward and fall in the ditch. Hallelujah. Amen. Because repentance is turning around. Going back. And I keep saying this. Wisdom. Knowledge. If you don't have knowledge about something, you don't. Amen. Some of us, our mindset is affected by demonic forces. Our thoughts are not straightforward. Amen. Amen. We cannot stand firm and say, this is my decision. Amen. We go by the wind. Doubt. We are praying that we go home. Sister, whatever you have received today, hold on to it. What the Lord has given you, you hold on to it. Because if you don't hold on, some people that you think they love you, they will tease and mock you so that you will let it go. Amen. But I pray that God will give you more power over them. Amen. More ability more than them. Amen. May you be able to stand against the odd. Because not all people are called by God. Not all people are chosen by God. If you are chosen, you are chosen. If you are not chosen, you are not chosen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to go further, just walk alone. Amen. Amen. Walk alone. In the spirit, if you want to go further. Because for me, my mindset is made. It's your mindset made. We are praying. Whatever is in this world that you have come to trust, what you have come to trust as good, may the Lord reveal it to you. Amen. Even if you are holding a cup and the Lord said this cup is not right, throw it away. Don't say, oh, my brother bought it for me. My pastor bought it for me, so it should be right. Do you know what your pastor bought it for? Do you know the purpose of that cup in your house? If the Lord says it is not right, throw it away. But before God can do that to you, He wants to know if when He tells you, you will obey. Will you obey? Some people here, you are standing here. All you are saying is passing here, passing there because you're not willing to obey anyway. You are not going to sit down and say, I'm going to fast, pray until I find the truth. You have made your mind already when I go home, this thing we've heard it before. That your mind is set. So for you, sorry for wasting your time. Amen. But those that are going to seek, may you not quit until you find. Amen. May you not quit until you find. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, my father, my father, my father, grant me the spirit of endurance that I may endure all the way to the end. In the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself right now. Pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I need the spirit of endurance. Endurance. Don't be... Ah, my God, my God, my God, my God. I don't know slow nipper. I then and I will treat the nipper count. Do you really understand what you are doing? 
If you are seeking, somebody say, I seek, I pray, I pray, I pray. And if it was a marriage, will you forget about it? If it, it was your business, you want to pray, will you forget about it? If it was given, will you forget about it? But because three weeks, you did not get it, you have quit praying. But that thing that you are looking for to begin your breakthrough, every day you remember him. See how hypocritical we are. When it comes to physical things, we will do everything for it to come to pass. And when it comes to spiritual things, along the road, oh yeah, it's not God's will. It's not God's will. Oh yeah, let it go. That's the deception we have. We don't have endurance. We don't pray to the end. We don't pray to the end. We don't see things through. We don't fight things through. We want to quit and say, if God's will. But that thing you want in your life, every day you are praying about it. We are saying, I don't know, I will be a hundred years. We 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 will be a hundred years. And tell our mama sit here. Yeah, Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. Mandara Baba Siki Taraba. Glory and Taraba Kana. Make Taraba was here. Don't give up. When the Lord has not revealed, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. He has promised. Those that love me, I will reveal myself unto them. So check your love for Christ. See, I believe that scripture so much. I started praying with it some years ago. I said, Lord, I love you. So reveal yourself. You say, if I love you, you will reveal yourself to me. You will reveal the Father to me. So Lord, I love you. Reveal yourself. When you see scripture, follow it through. Let the Lord know you believe it. Let the Lord know you believe it. Don't quote it. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Father prayer. See, many of us, we say we want to serve the Lord. Everybody wants to serve the Lord. As one well of us, we say we are going to serve the Lord. <laughs> Amen. To serve the Lord is to serve your neighbor. To serve the Lord is to serve who? Your neighbor. Until you have a revelation, my experience, amen. Some of your other pastors can tell you something different, amen. Until I can get a revelation of what I ask for, the Lord brings me a test, amen. Because that revelation, I must be responsible for it, I must do what is in that revelation. Hallelujah! But you people, you want revelation, you have but you don't want to do anything about it, it's not going to come. You want to have it for argument's sake. Amen. Your heart is hardened anyway. It's for argument's sake. We are going to pray the Lord. Whatever you've done in my sister's life, whatever is concerning my brother's life, I am standing in the gap. As the woman of God said, when we stand in the gap for people, it benefits us. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for somebody. The Lord, let them encounter you. You are praying for yourself that you want to encounter, isn't it? Let somebody also encounter you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You intercede for that person, for your husband, for your wife, for your children, for your church members, for your family members, that when the revelation comes, may God also give them the power to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Last prayer. Let's go. Pray. Mandarabasikitorobusanarabakanda. Ya broskete prekoskete pratoskepe na moseda. Ye bronto mande kasate. Le brokata la basikia. 
In the name of Jesus. Uh, please. Somebody here. When you get home, a problem is going to arise. That problem is because there's a glow on you. There's going to be an argument. Amen. Please, check your mouth. When you live here, anyone that brings an argument to you, based on something that happened just a few days ago, they are going to drag it back again. Please, check your mouth. Hallelujah. Because they are going to test you. Amen. They will do what? Every one of us. There's a big, because of this, I don't want to do any. I'm not say general. If it is you, we pray about it. Amen. You have a, somebody here has have a problem with their brother. A brother. It's a brother. The Lord says, forgive, let it go. Amen. Forgive, let it go. Whatever they've done is not worth your help. If you close, you can come and meet my mic and talk, tell her that was me. Amen. Don't come and even tell me. Come and tell her. I have a problem with a brother. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Father, grant grace that we may be able to understand your will and do 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 your will. A petition of a letter has been granted. Somebody is requesting a letter and a confirmation or approval of a visa or document. This is a document about four or five pages worth of documents. It's granted. Amen. It has been signed already. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I want to pray for this woman. Don't know, the one with the heart. Mm -hmm. Before you go home. Mama, please, can you come? We are praying that the Lord will cause her to see the picture of our head. And whatever they brought it against her will never come to pass. Hallelujah. Destroyed 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every powers of darkness to break the powers over you. You shall leave. Every weakness they want to put in your body. Any sickness. Any death. Return back to sender. 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 And as you be at the show, I just be a man with And I will not yet the day. Now I sense it to be a And it will be you for so. 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 I have the name of Jesus. I will not come out. I will not come out. If you have a phone, you don't know. I will fear more person than trust with you. Obey the Lord, I pray. I want my money in Jesus. I want my money in the Lord. Yes, we are coming to you. Yes, we are coming to you. Be safe, you man. I want to go to him. I want to go to him. What power person will do it? What power person will do it? I want to join him tonight. Papa, join him tonight. Papa, join him tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to move person with you. The body is such a man. I want to move such a man. I want to move such a man. I want to move such a man. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want to come on. I want to come on. Yes, you do. Amen. Sister, should you come?
Name and that. That's your wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say yes, you know what is it? Say yes, you know what is Amen. May Jesus follow. Or the Amen. 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 Now, I dare for me say, would you be our day with Bia? Would you be our day? Amen. But it's giving the grace to be stronger. Amen. Also, or do mood, or do you idea, or do the dish right? Amen. I feel no end. The way you know me. Amen. So the way you know me. Just don't make me look bad. Amen. Ah, this woman, when she came to my house this morning, or this afternoon, something happened there. But I will share it with you later. And I said something to her, I said, Mommy, we are here, we see me fear. See you again. Any day, we are here, see you. I bet that you are here. Amen. 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 I just said, here, be with you. And now, I'm going to tell you, what the autopia is tangible in the way we are here. I was like, you can feel it. So when somebody's loving, when you feel love, you feel like it's warm. It's like, who, who felt it? I felt some unique, different kind of love. And because of that love, what the Lord has shown me in my dream that is to draw people, that love is tangible here. Amen. Oh dear, now you see seats. Amen. It's good. You will see. Amen. To the end of the year. Amen. You will see. Amen. I say you will see. Amen. I will not have to repeat. I say you will see. Amen. Amen. May I believe all that God wanted her to do was to just to step here. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, Moses, you are traveling upon the holy ground. Amen. It has been in the preparation coming. What I want to encourage you is that whatever you are doing in your own corner, do it well. Amen. When you do it well, you will carry God's presence Amen. wherever you go. Amen. Amen. So you are blessed to be under her presence. Amen. And the presence of the Holy Spirit. Because she's the messenger and she's the carrier of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I don't speak this lightly because there are things happening in the realms right now. Hello. Bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Things will change. Yeah. Things will change. And right there, I was sharing with you. I was sharing with you. What is it? I was sharing with you. 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 Amen. What is it? I was sharing with you. I was sharing with you. And that's what I was sharing with you. But I was sharing with you. I was sharing with you.
Say Amen. Amen. Clap for Jesus. Amen. 